Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Psych Files podcast. Today, I have a very special guest, someone I'm sure you know. His name is Dr. Burris Frederick Skinner, and he is joining us remotely from a conference. And I'm going to ask him to address a couple of rumors, uh, the first one being about his daughter being raised in a Skinner box. So, uh, Dr. Skinner, thank you for joining us. And yes, would you address this question? Did you, in fact, raise your daughter in one of your Skinner boxes? I welcome this uh, question because I like to correct some, some rumors that, uh, that go around. Uh, I don't know, I'm sure that some of you have heard them. Uh, the distinguished psychiatrist told a distinguished person that the child that we raised in the so-called box, the air crib, became psychotic. I uh, wrote to him, I said, we've heard this before, and I've often wondered where it came from. Would you mind telling me where you heard this rumor? My daughter is, uh, our daughter is uh, very intelligent, talented, married. They live in London. My daughter is a very successful artist. She does large color etchings and sells all she can produce and so on. Uh, I don't see any ill effects of the, uh, of the air crib on her. Well, he wrote a very apologetic letter, I must say that. He didn't tell me where he heard it. I see. So it was actually an air crib, which we don't have around these days, but they were very popular back in the 50s and 60s. And uh, we have a picture of one here. And uh, thanks to Nick Joyce and Kathy Fay, who provided this image. So apparently an air crib uh, is a type of crib that allowed for climate control. And you were raising your children in uh, Minnesota. You were worried about the cold. And so you used what which was a very, very popular type of crib in that day. Okay, well, thank you very much for clearing that up. So then I take it that your daughter is not... Uh, uh, suffered any uh, ill effects or, or angry or, or suing you or other types of rumors that we've heard. One summer, uh, a British critic came over and uh, said to a friend of ours, who and a professor of literature at Harvard, isn't it too bad about that uh, daughter of the Skinners they raise in the box killing herself? <laughs> and uh, our friend said, well, well, when did she do that? I was swimming with her yesterday. <laughs> But recently I've been getting letters, I've had two or three in the last month. Is it true that your daughter is suing you? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, she's not suing me. We have a very good relationship, as a matter of fact. So one final question that our viewers have. Did you use any of your behavioral principles in raising your daughter, Deborah? When she was four or five years old, I was telling her a bedtime story, uh, rubbing her back. I was sitting on the edge of her bed for rubbing her back. And I thought, well, this is reinforcing. I see what I can do with this. So uh, I waited until she lifted a foot, and I rubbed her back, and I stopped. Lifted her foot again, and I rubbed her back. Then she gave a great kick and started to laugh. I said, what are you laughing at? She said, when I lift my foot, you rub my back. <laughs> she, uh, she, she had advanced from the animal to the human stage by that time. She, she could talk about the contingencies of reinforcement and, uh, and did. And both my, both my daughters would say to me, don't use your psychology on us. And, um, and I, never, uh, I never actually did. Well, thank you, Dr. Skinner. I appreciate your time and uh, your clearing up these rumors. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this video episode of The Psych Files. Don't forget to check out the website, www.thepsychfiles.com, for the most unique and useful psychology news and test preparation resources. Take care.